literally i'm so happy i'm so so happy <laughs> everyone excuse the state of me but um no makeup day today because i am on my way to the hospital it's surgery day i've got lewis driving me <laughs> um yeah so i have to be there for 11 um it's well we're on time to be one minute early actually getting really really nervous i'm also super hungry because i can't eat anything six hours before the surgery um not even water so <laughs> my mouth is so dry and i am so hungry i feel really grouchy because i haven't had a coffee yet i feel like it's probably going to be pretty quick basically i think from when i get to the hospital i think there's like two hours until my surgery and then lewis is going to pick me up although i don't know what time i'm coming out that's the problem so i'm just gonna have to keep you posted i'm gonna have boobies <laughs> um oh i still haven't 100 percent decided on a size so when i come out i will tell you whether i went for 315 cc or 335 cc lewis wants me to go for the smaller don't you well it's up to you your he body doesn't want me to have big boobies <laughs> good answer my body but yeah i'm the, the only thing i worry about is going too big and not being able to wear the clothes that i still wear getting close i'll vlog what i can in the hospital i just from all the vlogs that i've watched they said that it just goes so quickly on the day so i will try and obviously i'll update you after the surgery hopefully i won't be too groggy and then this vlog will also be like my recovery as well i am going under the muscle so i'm anticipating that i might be in a bit of pain um but fingers crossed not so yeah see you on the other side guys here's the menu i'm not actually hungry now i feel really nervous but yeah and this is also my room so we've got a little view here it's really really nice and clean um really nice bed i've got a toilet in here as well i'll show you This is my tracksuit as well um, from H&M. I thought it'd be really good to have just something to zip up. I've got my name tag on. I'm putting my stuff in the wardrobe here. This is what I have to put on. I've got my gown. These are knickers, I can't believe it. And then compression socks. And then those slippers are gonna go over the top and then a dressing gown. So yeah, I'm gonna get dress now i've got a lovely view outside it's so nice and sunny um the only thing is the nurses just took my blood pressure and um, they said it was quite low so they are i don't know why or what the reason is for that um so they said that what they're going to do is um monitor it after i get out of surgery which made me feel a little bit anxious i'm not going to lie but i'm going to get changed into my stuff now and then caridus um Dr. Creed is going to come in and make me sign a consent form and then I think I'll talk to him then about the implant size that I'm definitely going to go for so yeah, I'm going to have boobs soon guys like I'm getting actually so overwhelmed it's quite emotional but um yeah guys it's an absolute look <laughs> you should see these pants that they give you honestly and the compression socks like <laughs> just chilling here on the bed i've actually been reading this book whilst i'm waiting for dr caridas um yeah just chilling wishing i was out there in the sunshine also very very excited or when i wake up been feeling like really really overwhelmed um i'm literally the same color as the bed sheet this is not okay i've wanted this done since i was like 16 and it's finally happening today like i it's really overwhelming for anyone watching this vlog you're probably thinking about having breast augmentation or you have the same concerns as i do you'll know exactly how it feels and yeah on the day 
you will feel overwhelmed i'm not gonna lie but now i'm just waiting for readers just to like draw me up for like symmetry and stuff like that and i just want to have it done now just yeah kind of not get it over and done with that's the wrong phrase but yeah i'm so excited bye 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 flat boobies so guys i am awake oh when i came to i honestly felt high as a kite um and i remember the anaesthetist basically being like what's your favorite summer drink and i was like gnt and then they were like and um, what else and i went espresso and then that's all i remember um waking up i did feel really quite sick so they gave me some anti-nausea um medication and also um some painkillers i just like it doesn't feel painful it just feels like tight in my chest um like i've probably done like 100 press ups that's how it feels um so i can kind of like lift my arms i still need to have the nurse come and put the surgery bra on um i have had a little peek and they don't feel too big at all that was obviously like, my main concern if anything they feel like smaller than what i had imagined so i'm really really happy because that was my main fear that they were going to look too big obviously i know they need to swell they need to swell go down for me to see the actual size but yeah um i'm just here sipping on some water mm. Um, but yeah, I can't even remember what time I went into surgery. It all happened so, so quickly. Um, it's now 16.47. So um, I think they've just gone to get my medication. Um, I'm literally just in bed, as you can see. I think they're gonna try and make me eat something. Although I don't feel, <laughs> I kept banging on about, oh my God, I can't wait to eat. And now I'm literally like, I don't feel like eating at all. Literally, I'm so happy. I'm so so happy <laughs> for anyone like new here I've wanted this for like my whole life and trust me these are happy like these are actually happy to is but yeah I'm so happy and yeah what some smoked salmon and avocado sandwiches literally love these little triangles and an apple juice there can't wait to drink that it looks very refreshing I also ordered some melon I feel like i didn't know how i was going to feel and i actually feel quite hungry this is really really good I thought i'd show you as well i think that's where like the cannula they use to put me under anesthetic it's actually pinching on my skin a little bit that is that oh ow can't really lift that so guys lewis Let's has take come and guess what he brought me <gasps> Oh, so good. Mm. Also, I've got my pillow here. Actually looking so jokes. Feeling okay, to be honest. A little bit of pain, mainly around my side boobs. Like, I probably can't hold this higher than where I'm holding it. Got pain medication and... Um, oh, uh, oh yeah, no, they had to keep me in a bit longer because actually I started to feel quite nauseous and then the nurse said that I looked really pale and I felt like I might be sick at that point, but I wasn't. And my blood pressure was really low. I don't know why. And I'm hoping this is as painful as it's gonna get, but I have heard day two and three are the worst, so I'll keep you updated, guys. But yeah, I'm feeling okay. When I came round though, oh my goodness, I don't even know what I was talking about. I just remember feeling really sick and just like, where am I? It was weird, but yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this now. Baby, can you press the record button on the back? I am home now. To be honest, I have quite good range of motion in my arms. I'm not gonna push it, but yeah. 
And I've got my surgery bra here. They feel very big and swollen. They're kind of like cones, but I'm not worrying about that because I think that's completely normal. He what bought me these this? flowers. Look. Are they they're lilies, right? Yeah. Got me lilies and snacks. I'm actually not feeling that hungry and I usually would always want snacks. I have some medication as well so I'm going to show you what I've got. Um, don't know if it's going to be of any interest to you. These are, I think these are like really strong painkillers. I've never actually taken these before and I think I have to take two tablets four times a day and then I've got some antibiotics here I think I have to take these for five days and the nurse highlighted everything for me one tablet three times a day with food and then this is supposedly going to help because I think these painkillers I mean I'm going to try and not take them only I'll have one tonight and then see how I go tomorrow but they can make you quite constipated which is where this solution comes in handy i think it's like a stool softener and i've got some more compression leggings here and then paracetamol and ibuprofen good morning everyone so it's first day post-op um it's around 9 30 i really didn't have the best night's sleep last night i had to sleep on this like pillow propped up i got that one from amazon so i'll link it below like it is decent but just sleeping upright like i did try the night before surgery and i really really struggled so i think what i might do tonight actually is use a neck pillow because it's when your neck goes down into a funny position i feel like that's what wakes me up so i just slept in these like button front pajamas the pain is worse today i'm not gonna lie it's not like unmanageable i'd say it's probably between like a four and a five but it's like it's weird it's like here i've got more pain on my right boob for some reason on the top part it just feels really tender like all around here and slightly like under my armpit that's actually where the bruising might be so i'm gonna go downstairs now and eat because i need to take my pain medication to be honest I, pr I think I'm going to take the pain medication today and then or the one that they've prescribed me because it is quite strong um, and I just don't want it to like bloat and constipate me but I actually feel okay now I don't feel that bloated but obviously it's only day one post-op and if the pain is like this or a little bit less tomorrow then I'm just going to switch to like ibuprofen and paracetamol um oh god my arm is really hurting I'm putting it on the bed i keep forgetting that there's things that i can't necessarily do um and i'm trying to be like big and brave and do it like i said to lewis i'm gonna go down and make some breakfast he's like babe like what like i'll come down with you like, i'm not thinking like i might not be able to open the fridge or pull things out cupboards a couple of things people said i wouldn't be able to do was push the button down on the toilet i can do that the only thing i struggle with is pulling look like the door handle down we've got like metal ones i locked myself it will not lock myself i shut the bathroom door and i, I closed it and then i was i could open it but i was like oh <laughs> like yeah it's not pain as such it's how to describe it it just feels like your body can't do it i'm holding the camera up here actually let's see what movement we have today so i can lift my arms up like here and it doesn't really feel painful it just feels a bit tender i have so many tablets to take and i've just done it in the notes section of my phone so I've got Codidromol, I need to take uh, two tablets four times a day, so I've just basically checked them off, so every time I take one, I can just tick it off in, in the notes section of my phone just to make it easier. got my antibiotics, my Arnica, like honestly so many tablets here, and ibuprofen. Like I've genuinely, genuinely never had to take that many, whoa, uh, painkillers or tablets in my life keep you posted as the day goes on it's like 26 degrees in london today so i'm actually really a little bit conscious because you can't get the dressings wet or i don't think you can sweat either and it gets really hot in my room i'm a bit conscious about that i'll show you what they are looking like so far excuse the clothes i did have my pajama shorts on but i'm actually going down so they do feel really quite big from the front but actually from the side, I don't think that they look as big 
as they look from the front. I'm trying not to panic because these look, in my opinion, too big. But I literally just had it done yesterday, so I think it's a lot of swelling. Um, and then so this is the Macom bra. And then that's my oh, dressings. It's like 26 degrees in London today, so this is so refreshing. And some straws. Oh, I can't reach it. <laughs> and melon. I actually had some melon post surgery yesterday. You probably would have seen. Oh, I really want to put some makeup on. This is a raw. Hey, baby. Um, raw vlog. Yeah, I'm. I don't have the biggest appetite. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if it's a mixture of the medication I'm taking or the anaesthetic. I think it's completely normal. Um. But yeah, this fruit is really refreshing. We just popped out and got some chicken from the rotisserie. It's gonna chill and watch a film. I am feeling quite sore. I fell asleep for about an hour. Um, Lewis went out and actually got me, um, oh, what is it, what's it called? Adjustable backrest, yeah, that's basically what it is. Adjustable backrest, I'll show you. I'm not gonna get up now because I'm actually comfy. Pillow lifter, medical um, pillow. Um, yeah, a medical pillow lifter because I was finding it so hard to sit upright. Um, but the neck pillow, mm. actually, I'm forgetting what I'm saying on stories and what I'm saying. Thank you. Here, this if you put it around your neck massively helps because what happened last night is i was getting off to sleep and then i was like that and that was waking me up whereas this really helps it helped me not off like an hour i was so tired i definitely needed it pain wise the pain is getting worse um but it's like manageable i'd say it's about five out of ten it's just more tender like on the top it literally feels like i have done a full-on chest day like under my arms you know when you like go to put on your coat and you can't really lift it but i still have really good range of motion i'm just keeping on top of my meds and trying to eat like a little bit as well so yeah not much else to update you on but considering it's only what day one post-op i actually don't feel that bad just a little bit stiff so guys this was the thing that i was telling you about oh i can't actually lift my arm too much think they sell these on amazon you can adjust the height by obviously lifting it up it's like a deck chair but just the top part and then you pop your pillows on the top like honestly it's been a game changer for sitting upright so i'll see if i can link one definitely look into getting one of those and then this big where is it you you v-shaped pillow there we go Good morning everyone thought i would just rest you up on here because I'm in quite a bit of pain today and holding um, is not going to be the one. It is day two post-op. I was actually a little bit nervous because this morning I woke up and I had like sweat. Like you know when you sweat in the night um, and I had a little bit of like boob sweat and I just panicked because you're not supposed to get the dressings wet or sweaty. So Lewis went and got me my fan. I think it's okay. I'm just trying not to panic but... Ooh. not gonna lie today the pain is quite bad i just feel really swollen especially like around the sides i'll show you here so all around here i don't know if you can see it's like so tender to touch i'm not that bloated to be fair although one thing that people haven't said on the vlogs is that the medication <laughs> makes you gassy yeah it's making me fart so <laughs> Um, I know that's not very ladylike, but I'm just trying to be as real as possible with you with this vlog. This is a little look at them. They are huge. Like, they have to go down because these are massive. Um, and that is what they look like from the side. Just so much swelling back here. I do have another sports bra, but actually I think it might be a bit tight. I've ordered the next size up. This one is Macom. I think it's a medium. I mean, I can obviously put my clothes on it hurts under my armpits and obviously like i can lift my arms but i'm just trying to really take it easy because last night honestly the swelling 
was so bad i genuinely thought like the implant was gonna rip through my chest that's how it felt but from all the vlogs that i've watched day two and three are supposed to be the worst so i'm not like panicking i'm just gonna keep up with my pain medication today i'm gonna go downstairs make some breakfast i need to start taking my medicine and i think you can't really have it on an empty stomach and my stomach is actually rumbling so yeah i thought i'd just update you on that i'd say the pain is like five slash six um i feel like when i came out of surgery i was probably just so numb and day one was okay and i think probably this will be the worst day touch touch wood touch my head my lovely friend martha just sent me these beautiful flowers look how lovely they are so nice i'm really struggling today like the bloat is so real i haven't had a poo in like three days sorry excuse the mess in my room I've taken a stool softener now but yeah that's to be expected i'm really really bloated it's just really quite hot in london today i think it's like 24 degrees I'm just trying to stay really cool i've got this linen shirt on um from zara which is perfect because it's linen and also buttons up at the front god i literally cannot wait to put makeup on <laughs> i feel it's just a lot of tightness up in my chest and i feel like i've had like little almost like muscle spasms it's really really weird they just they still feel hot to touch they're just so big i also fell asleep at like quarter past 11. i feel like i had a relatively good night's sleep last night i don't actually feel like i woke up throughout the night because the neck pillow really really helped but the medication just makes me really drowsy but I just don't feel like the pain has gone down enough for me to warrant not taking the um co i can't remember what it's called now co something i took off my bra and they're looking like still big i'm gonna go to the bathroom and i'm gonna show you because you guys probably want to see these booby updates i know when i was watching vlogs that's what i wanted to see more of like the actual boobs in the bathroom I thought it would be easier honestly i can't wait to like wash and do something with my hair as you'll see i don't know if you can see there like this is so swollen and it goes all the way around here like excuse my nipple um these look massive also i've noticed my boobs look quite shiny like i don't know if that's a thing but i undid this yesterday and here like my chest bone was really really swollen but that is what they are looking like i mean they are a big big handful i'm not gonna lie um they will go down though and then they kind of look like cone boobs from the side but i think again that's really really normal just the swelling here like it's actually <laughs> sticking out which is making it quite painful um and just like really really tender to touch obviously i'm not going to take my sports bra off but when i took it off there the implants were sitting a lot higher today yesterday they seemed a bit lower but i think they change literally daily um just my main concern now is keeping the dressings underneath like as dry as possible friends the bloat is so real <laughs> I'm in quite a lot of pain and Lewis has returned. Aww, he's so cute. He's so interested by this package that I got delivered from Hey You. He's digging into the Schwitters. Mmm. Jawbusters. Jawbusters. Swedish fish. Like numb stuff I can eat. Really? Yeah, sugar. Oh. Yeah. Oh no, it contains wheat. I can't have that. But there's actually some really good stuff in here. Look at this. Jelly Belly, Pina Colada flavour and Green Apple Fanta. I've just been oh, chilling out in bed. I've actually got, round here is really, really sore. And I've also had like what feels like muscle spasms or contractions so weird i feel like i've maybe kind of overdone it a little bit so i'm just gonna probably lie down i know i keep trying to do things for myself but i need to not so guys it's day three i stop <coughs> ah. wow i've got such a nice helper here <laughs> you're not gonna put this on <laughs>
<laughs> You'll know where you get them. <laughs> it tickles. Oh my god, my arm looks so skinny. <laughs> oh, oh my. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Good morning, everyone. So it's day three post op. I feel like I'm getting progressively, well, looking and getting progressively worse. I definitely need to wash my hair. What I will say is, up to this point, I feel like I've been okay. Definitely when I came out of surgery and day one post op. Um, I think I was probably still very numb from the anaesthetic. Um, obviously, this is only my personal experience. You may differ. I did go under the muscle, and I feel like last night oh, was probably the first time I started to really feel like proper pain. I had like shooting pains. I think on this side here, it felt like little stabbing pains. Now I've got it on this side. I just feel really, really swollen. I'm swollen like on the side as well. Um, and now I feel like I've got a bit of a sharp pain where it feels like the incision was made. I think that's all completely normal. Struggling a little bit today, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm developing a bit of a cough as well. Luckily, it's actually pissing down with rain outside so I don't feel the need to go outside. These linen -y shirts are honestly going to be like your best friend anything with buttons i have been actually trying to eat i'm just trying to think of what else i can update you on um sleeping actually hasn't been that bad i feel like the painkillers i'm on i think i'm on code i can't remember no it sounds like code or code Codidromol or something. They make me quite sleepy. So actually, if I take them before I go to bed, I'm usually okay. And you definitely need a neck pillow. Like this V-shaped pillow is good, but you need a neck pillow. That is one piece of advice you need to take from this vlog if you are about to get breast augmentation. I went to change my sports bra today. I've obviously got this Mac on one. Um, I went to change it to the M&S one that I bought. I actually got it in a 34C and it felt a little bit tight at the time and I've reordered it in a 36C because your back, I mean my back has really swollen or everywhere has swollen and I couldn't even really get it on. So yeah, I'm <clears throat> gonna change to that one once it arrives, but they are feeling very, very big and I'm trying to like not let it freak me out too much. I did actually check my motiva um implant card yesterday and the implants were the bigger end for what my surgeon had originally suggested to me and i didn't know if i wanted to go for the bigger so i definitely freaked out i can't even judge now what they're going to look like because i'm day three post-op but yeah i was feeling a little bit sad yesterday because i was just like oh i really hope they're not too big i mean i definitely don't have boob greed that's for sure I'm trying to eat pretty healthy you probably won't have an appetite i haven't really had the biggest appetite but you need to eat something obviously to take your pain meds and your antibiotics yeah this is like a stabbing pain that i'm getting it's weird yeah i'll show you what i'm eating today because actually i haven't done that um i've eaten pretty healthy apart from yesterday i had some sweets from that box that i showed you I'm trying to have like lots of protein vegetables fruit drink lots of water as well because day three and i still haven't had a poo and i'm really bloated and very constipated so it's gonna help me make breakfast it's half past 10 um so i will show you what i have and for the course of today just try and keep on top of your eating i think they say the more protein that you get into your diet during recovery will like help the pain is manageable i just feel like i'm walking around really slowly today i feel like maybe day one and two i was doing too much um and i just need to take it easy today this is a breakfast this morning going for something healthier i've had eggs two days in a row so i fancy something Different, we've got protein powder there, berries, uh, and peanut butter. This is my little meal here. I'm trying to get a lot of protein in 
just the aid of recovery um it's a pretty healthy takeaway i need to eat because i need to take my next load of tablets oh my god my boob actually just squelched um wow i look like crap uh yeah i don't really feel like there's much more to update you on i've been in and out of sleep all day today i felt really quite drowsy from the medication just been listening to my body and just really taking it easy resting up in bed but i've had like no appetite i think it might be the medication i'm not entirely sure but yeah hopefully tomorrow will be a better day had a few like stabbing pains here but it's more just like tightness swelling uncomfortableness i think tomorrow is going to attempt to wash my hair so we will see how that goes because it's so greasy right now good morning everyone so it's saturday today it's day four post op i have actually a little bit of a sore throat honestly all i can say is i only apologize for the state of me this week honestly i cannot wait to put some makeup on and feel a bit more human i don't know what's going on with my voice up and i think it's just before nine what i've noticed let me just prop you up actually that's better one thing i have noticed is my boobs today are actually squelching a little bit which is really weird but again loads of vlogs i've watched completely normal um so i'm gonna make a coffee this morning i feel a little bit stiff like under where the incision was um, I still feel really swollen, like up here. I'll show you a, another video of the the girls um, later, maybe in the bathroom. I think Lewis is going to attempt to wash my hair today, so fingers crossed. Um, but one thing I have noticed is I'm waking up quite early and then eating a little bit, having my medication, and it's knocking me out. Originally, the plan was to stop my medication day three, but realistically, the pain is still there. So I'm probably just gonna take it for the five days, even though I still haven't had a poo. I've taken some stool softener that they gave me actually um, at the hospital. Um, so I might take some more of that again today. I'm eating like really healthy, so I don't, really understand what's going on i think it is just the medication so beware of that this little zippy is also h m um but yeah look they're looking very big and really firm still really really shiny as well today the pain is more of like a stingy pain especially under where my incisions are um and just like a tightness rather than anything else so guys my fridge door is actually really quite heavy so literally techers <laughs> to get my oat milk out also trying to pull the lever down on that was a little bit difficult but this weight wise feels okay i think they say you shouldn't really lift anything over five pounds um so i am taking it easy but this feels okay actually so i've just come up to the boys bathroom and yeah i just thought i would show you what they are looking like still really really swollen um but i don't feel like they look i mean they do look quite big but not too big so from the side i don't know if you can see that um and then oh excuse my bloated belly i've actually had to put this one on the looser one because i've still got a bit of um swelling here so if you can see that because like it goes out um so yeah i feel like once they go down i do want them to go in a little bit more as well um but i've got like if i undo these first clips here like a natural cleavage coming here which is making me really really happy they do for me look very big at the minute um but definitely a decent size handful but i think that they'll go down and then the dressing is just there which obviously my priority is to just keep it as dry and cool as possible can't get it wet or sweaty i'm going to try and have a shower from like the waist down today because i'm feeling really really smelly um and also get lewis to wash my hair because this is not okay guys this is not okay oh my god 
So guys, it's hair wash time. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Good job. Good job, baby. Come on. Oh. You look lovely. You look glamorous. <laughs> Short back in size, is it? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Hello, maybe. Mr. Toolbox. <laughs> what would you like today? Oh my god. Ow. <laughs> you little ears. You baby. Oh, okay, ears. tight. Oh, it's dropping down my back. What would you like, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I am getting absolutely rinsed. <laughs> oh. Is it all in? Yeah, man. It's all in. No, I, no on the root. Make sure it's all through the ends of my hair. That's where it gets dry. How much did you put in? Like a handful? Yeah. Right, how much do you want? Yeah, like, does it feel soft? Um, yeah. Yeah, mine. I need to get my hairbrush now. Your hairbrush? Right. Comb it through. Where is it? And then the bathroom next door. I'm looking a little bit more presentable now. I actually look like a boy. But hair is washed. I know I'm going to feel so much better. I'm just going to let it dry naturally now because I hadn't washed it for like four days and it was feeling gross. So yeah, I think Lewis did pretty well there. Leaning back, it did hurt. Like I felt a bit of a strain on my chest. But I just kept this on and made sure. Like, I think the back of my sports bra is wet, but the front didn't get wet at all. So. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a traumatic experience, but actually it was okay. I was pleasantly surprised. If anyone needs a hairdresser, I might send Lewis your way. <laughs> I'm dressed. I've let my hair dry semi-naturally. I've literally just put it on with my bow and tee shorts because I tried on my jeans and depressingly they were so tight on my stomach because I'm obviously still quite bloated. I'm just going to have a little gentle easy walk um and then come back and chill out i'm really really craving a nice coffee so i don't think i'll take my camera out just because i'm gonna take my little prada bag because it's nice and lightweight this can get quite heavy just excited to get onto the sun my legs are literally transparent i'm so embarrassed at how pale they are i cannot deal with life right now <laughs> oh my gosh guys i'm not gonna lie that walk really tired me out like I genuinely felt like I was really able and fine to do it and oh my god I was literally walking like an old age pensioner and my incisions really started to hurt on my left boob. I think it's normal but then part of me is like is my implant gonna fly out? I'm just gonna take it easy now because yeah I'm aching a bit. Um, I'm gonna show you how bloated my belly is. These are my bow and tee shorts not trying to be big headed or anything but usually got some ab lines now look this is the medication because all i've had to eat today is scrambled eggs i had two eggs one egg white on rye bread with half an avocado in my whole 30 years of life being this bloated ever also can we just talk about my comb boobs they're literally like that <laughs> this is a general consensus all the vlogs that i watched um in the lead up to having uh, my surgery every woman said bloating and they are not lying oh i think i might actually stop taking them today because i can't deal with this like honestly and i had a poo today yeah <laughs> this is lunch slash dinner lewis has had to go um to work so he bought me one of these salad bowls just from sainsbury's i think it comes with like corn lettuce shredded carrot tomatoes and then I added some tender stem broccoli. That's the chicken from last night. And there's some salmon in there. So getting lots of protein in. And I'm going to start reading this book. Good morning, everyone. It is quarter past 11 on Sunday morning. And it is day five, 
post op tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday wait hold on wednesday thursday friday so it's five, five days post op i am feeling a little bit better today just still really sore i woke up this morning and i sat up and it felt like i ripped a stitch I, but i can't work out if it's a stitch or whether it's actually just the dressing the kind of sticky bit of the dressing that's actually like pulling my skin i think it might be that because i feel like the incision is higher under my boob but i feel like yesterday i went for a walk and it knackered me out so i'm just basically gonna spend the whole day in bed today really chill out i've ordered a iced oat latte and oh my god it's so good it's called the big bad wolf coffee in streatham so if you live in streatham definitely check it out it's free delivery on just eat and i ordered yum halloumi avocado scrambled eggs on toast are you enjoying that <laughs> taking some painkillers i think it's my last day taking them today still quite bloated um not as bloated as i was after i had a poo Woo! <laughs> it's sunday so i feel like it's a perfect day to just laze around i think it's forecast a rain all day so i'm just gonna catch up on netflix i think i started watching the bold type and also another uh netflix series on amazon prime which is also really good started watching that with lewis because it's quite nice to have someone to watch together and i've also started a new book club read i'll leave my book club page on here shameless little plug but this is what i'm reading the vanishing half um i finished shuggy bane yesterday which was really really good so i'm gonna enjoy my breakfast now and yeah i'll keep you updated i'll show you um another picture another picture a another video later of my boobs they're feeling very big and swollen pain wise not too bad it's just more of like a heaviness aching i've got a bit like of tenderness around the side of my boob here and up here honestly the more you use your arms the more you will feel it in your boobs like yesterday i felt like i moved my arms quite a bit i went for a walk and i really felt tenderness around here and here and under here to be honest i thought i'd be like up and about by now day five post-op but everybody's different everybody recovers differently even though i did some chest days in the lead up to having my breast augmentation but it is what it is at least my hair is washed um i'm feeling nicer and oh my god i can't even tell you how much better i felt yesterday after having even though it was just a lower body shower i felt so much better for it guys like honestly just felt clean I finished my antibiotics today as well that's basically it for now one thing i will say if you are gonna have breast augmentation or you're thinking about it get yourself one of these i think this might even be from primark like i don't know what i would have done if i didn't have this it's just helped me sleep so much and i actually love my v-neck pillow it's the comfiest thing ever so guys oh my god i can't believe i'm coming on looking such a state i don't even know what day it is to be fair probably day 10 post-op i feel like i haven't um <clears throat> been on for a few days the pain yesterday wasn't that bad the pain the day before was awful i really didn't feel like picking up my camera i cried like five times um but i'm feeling a lot better today day 10 first day i haven't actually had to have any pain relief which is amazing i'm in the bathroom i'm just about to get into the bath and by bath i mean a shallow bath i still haven't been able to have a shower I love that for me so what i do is i get in wearing my sports bra i'm still wearing my mac on one actually um and then i basically bathe from like the waist down not glamorous but roll on tuesday when i have my dressings removed and i'm able to shower this is the bath literally shallow af this is what i've used thought i would say my bloating has massively gone down i am still a little bit bloated but nothing like i was before i've got pretty good oh movement in my arms there we go might regret that later but this is what the twins 
are looking like that one see this one actually looks more swollen than that and also a little bit higher i'll turn the camera so you can get a better look finally have some makeup on and i feel a little bit more human and presentable i'm midway through editing this vlog i'm so sorry it's been so long i really don't know how to condense it um so if you stuck with me thank you so much i just thought i'd do a little roundup because i've now had my dressings removed scars are looking amazing honestly i was so worried about the scars being like raised red and bumpy and actually they literally look like the thinnest line i'm still struggling a little bit to do things like open the fridge door um move heavy thing having to take it easy in that respect personally i know everybody's recovery will be different i definitely needed the full two weeks to recover because i went under the muscle but it's really dependent on you know person to person you might have a really smooth recovery i feel like personally mine was quite slow but unfortunately that's just going to be something that you find out once you go through uh, breast augmentation yourself i am still swollen so yeah when i went to have my dressings removed the nurse said that my I, I looked very very swollen she's like on a spectrum of not very swollen to swollen i was really on the high end of swollen and she said all down the front here i can't actually see it visually but obviously you know she does this all the time so she could tell um she said that i was really really swollen in the middle um which is pushing my boobs outwards i feel like i've got quite a bit of side boob going on but as that swelling goes down my boobs will come in and fall into the breast pocket fingers crossed um so yeah i'd say as well for me i don't know what i would have done without lewis here to be honest um i definitely i definitely needed him for like the the first week for sure even now I like i said i struggle to do some things i struggle to like open the dishwasher um open doors pull the fridge door because it's really heavy and i know when i've overdone it like when i went up to london to have my dressings taken off done like, like loads of steps came back slept like till 10 30 the next day um but i can shower now feels amazing but i am gonna go ahead and conclude this vlog and the next kind of booby update i think i'm gonna do a q a uh one one month i think one month q a so i'll ask what well, i put one of those like question box things on my stories on instagram so if there's anything you want to know but i will obviously cover the most important like why i got it done size uh cost surgeon all of those things so stay tuned for that that'll be coming in about two and a half weeks time and then i'll probably do a three month and a six month because my boobs aren't going to look how they are going to look in a month's time let's face it so thank you so much for watching guys i hope that you found it informative and i will see you very very soon